Arkansas, I hear the same message. We do not feel heard. We don't feel represented. When you got an incumbent congressman that don't ever come home and nobody even know who he is, I understand why you feel underrepresented. When you got a congressman who votes against veterans, votes against the PAC Act, votes against the American Rescue Plan, I understand how we feel underrepresented. But I really feel underrepresented when that same congressman decided to sue every single person here. He's suing the American taxpayer because he don't think he get paid enough. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I know over 700,000 people across this district would love to try to get by on $174,000 a year. I know 700,000 people that would love to be able to sue their employer for back pay because they think they're working harder than they should. Now, it's hard for me to understand exactly how hard the man works when he don't ever come home. He doesn't have a town hall in 12 years, and he doesn't ever come to the very communities that look like me. When Helena West Helena lost their water four times this year, you couldn't find them. But he did decide to go to my home in Cabot, throw a fundraiser with Marjorie Taylor Greene to rile up Republicans. Well, now I'm riling up Democrats right here in West Memphis. Because, see, he don't understand. He don't understand what it is, being African-American in this country. See, when you fight back, you win. And they want to go ahead and take the gloves away from us. They want to take the fight from us. They want to stop you from voting. And the only reason why is because it's worth it. It's worth you standing in that line and casting that ballot. It is worth you filling out that form and letting your voice be heard. Because when we vote, we win. So what I'm asking you to do, I'm going to ask you for three things. Number one, I need your vote. And I guarantee you, I'm going to earn it. I've knocked over 8,000 doors across this district. 20,000 if you count the people that work with me. We knocking doors and we coming and bringing the fight to D.C. to represent your voice. So I'm going to earn your vote and I hope, I hope you can punch my name at that ballot box. The second thing is we need all the support we can get. Now support comes in all sorts of different aspects. But I'm going to tell y'all something. As angry as y'all were, when y'all heard about this lawsuit that's going on, help me run an ad so that everybody gets just as upset. Because there ain't a single person, that's a nonpartisan issue, there ain't a single person that wouldn't be upset knowing that congressman suing them. And the third thing is let's spread the word. Now I'm looking to cover 31 counties. That's a tall, tall task. But I got some good help. See, I got Jesse Magruder helping out. I got Lincoln Barnett helping out. I got Tula Thomas helping out. I got the Democratic Party right here in Crittenden County helping out. But we only as strong as the help that we can get from outside too. So not only am I asking you to help me out, but help every single candidate up and down the ballot that you know is going to represent your voice at the local, state, and federal level. Again, my name is Rodney Govins. I am running for U.S. House District 1 right here in Arkansas. And with your help, we can go ahead and evict this guy on November 5th, right there at the ballot box. Let's send a message. I appreciate it, y'all. We well, thank you, Mr. Rodney Goldman. Y'all make some noise for him. Next up, we have Mr. Jesse Magruder running for state representative. Y'all.